Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we've got you another Lego episode and today I have another package from AliExpress and we're just going to go through what I've ordered and inside. Now what I did notice on the last one, I didn't have my Carl Weathers character. Um, he wasn't delivered in the last one, so uh, is it Karga? I can't remember his name, but from the Mandalorian. Um, so hopefully they've actually incorporated it in this one as I asked the uh, supplier and they pull it in. So what we do, we just pull them out and um, we go from there. They come in this nice little jiffy bag um, and everything on there. Obviously I've ripped off all the adhesive bits that give, away, give me away. But um, yeah, we can go through with it and let's go. So first up, looks like Echo. So we got the Bad Batch characters coming out for the Black Series, as we got the uh, the new thing that drops in, in spring. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd jump on the little old bandwagon and get some characters to go with it. Now obviously we haven't got a confirmation about Echo uh, and what's happening with him in the series, but hopefully he is there. So we've got this kind of cool, nice roboted arm. Or we have a normal arm as well. Got his face painting on there. And then with his specialized kind of Captain Rex type helmet, all on there. The actual detail on the figure looks really nice. And um, it comes with a nice, giant size rifle of a DC blaster. Let me just put that on there. There you go. Let me just put him over to the side. But yeah, he's pretty cool for the first one. So next up we have the one that I should have got uh, originally with the uh, Mandalorian figures. So here he is. Taken from uh, not the one, not the black series one. We've got this kind of half coat look that hangs over his body. As you can tell from the details there, it looks absolutely incredible. His gun kind of looks like the uh, Robocop sort of pistol, but uh, I'm down with that. That's pretty cool, and um, it looks really nice. So I'm glad to have him in the collection as well, as we're still waiting for his black series figure to arrive in the UK. Next up is a 330 second clone trooper. Comes with a bunch of accessories and they will come with a stand as well. Just get the arms in there. We've got that face print on there. Not exactly too great, but the armor looks cool. And we've got that 360 uh, kind of printing all around on him. And we've got that nice helmet as well, with a nice print. And he comes with, which looks like an E11 blaster and also a Rebel blaster as well. Not too shabby. Let me put it on there. And then next up we have Commander Cody. Now the only sort of Lego figure I have of this one is a very old looking Cody. But they have the gold grey visors and they fit on there. So I kind of wanted to upgrade this one in a way where um, it just kind of looked cool for photos for Instagram, etc. So the helmet looks pretty good print. And then uh, we can actually pop on these parts as well. On there. There we go. Um, 
and his weapons of choice seem to be two twin pistols of Ray's Blaster from Force Awakens, which is a bit odd. So we're going to have to find him a nice rifle to have. But uh, yeah, he looks really cool, looks really nice. Helmet seems to pop off quite a bit. But um, yeah, the detail on there looks really good. So, up next is obviously his clone brother, which is Captain Rex. And with his later stages in life, he finally got to Commander. So with that, we can, we've got loads of extra little bits and gubbins there. So we've got his skirt, or Kamara. Uh, we're up on here. It's actually got holsters actually printed on there as well, which is pretty cool. So we get that on there. On there. Um, and then other arm. And we've got his pauldron. Fits over that part there. We've got his head. And then we have head and range finder. So we've got loads of accessories for this one, which is really cool. And then we've got two pistols. For his dual wielding as well. They're a bit more tougher than Lego. It feels sometimes you are struggling to get them in there. But the actual quality of these plastic as well doesn't feel any kind of different. Obviously, it's not 100% of the quality that you get with Lego, but um, you know it's a strong, robust plastic. It feels really nice, and that printing is excellent. So that finishes off Phase Two, Captain Rex, and. Um, yeah, he's looking pretty fantastic. So next up, we've got quite a big bundle here. So uh, we'll keep carrying on. And this one we have is Bo-Katan. It's just another one that I wanted to get on the uh, on the shelf as well so we've got a jet pack on their head and then we've got the arms we have got a rocket kind of piece there for a backpack i don't really like putting them in because they're not even that kind of sort of uh type of backpacks got a range finder and she comes with two Rebel Blasters as well. So some of these might need a, a bit of a change up. But also, she comes with a little Force Fold Shield that they had in Rebels, uh, which is really cool. So you can tell by her details, they haven't really missed the treat. It's really nice all around. And um, again, another really cool looking figure. No misprint there, what I can't see right from the back. But um, yeah, she's looking good. All right, so next up is another one from season seven of Clone Wars, and that is Arc Trooper Jesse. Definitely one you can't argue with or miss because they're looking really nice, really cool. Bits on there. I think he's supposed to have his own backpack. I want to put his potion down first with a backpack. Head. Not really too sure how they want it to go. So uh, I'm just going to put that bit on the back because I don't really have a giant backpack, but I've got these extra larger parts here so I'm not too sure how it goes so for now just leave it as that and he comes with kind of two DC carbines 
That's really cool as well. And just sleep onto the side. And there he is. It's also got the right sort of type of helmet as well on there. So, and these details look fantastic. Uh, and just everything on there. So I'm just gonna have to look in how to build that backpack. So, we still got quite a few more to go through. So uh, just bear with us. I did go out a little bit and just wanted quite a few sort of figures to sort of put on the shelf to go with the Black Series figures. And uh, so well, next up we have Ahsoka. Now I wasn't too sure what Ahsoka this was. Uh, all you can see is their heads on AliExpress, unfortunately. So um, it's kind of a bit of a, a wild guess. Um, and this one kind of pretty much looks like the Rebels, which is cool because that, um, that matches the figure that I do have on the shelf. And, uh, Aleku's looks fantastic. And also she comes with her two white sabers. And yeah, the details look absolutely great as well. Again, no misprints, and, which is pretty cool because when you buy in this amount here, you guarantee so far you would have something. So, so far, so good. So let's not, hopefully not touching wood. And then we're down to the last few, which are the main bad batch guys. So we'll leave the last best to last. So first up we have here, which I think is I can't remember the name is to be honest. Uh, it's the sniper one. We've got the sniper one coming out of me. Is it cross crosshair? Or crossfire maybe? Can't remember too much. Um, He's got a range finder. It's also got a backpack, which is actually specially made for these guys. Looking pretty cool. Viewing. And he actually comes with a sniper rifle and a raid blaster. So yeah, again the details. You know, you can't argue with these. The silver parts are really silver. We've got chippings. We've got like belt straps. You know, the paint sort of scraped off in the areas. You know, for the, uh, for the look of it. Not actually intended as in like proper scraped off. But they look really cool. Uh, next up we have here, which is one that I really wish that the Black Series would uh, say they have got coming out. And this one is Tech. I just like this guy's helmet, kind of like the way he sort of looks. Um, and there. His helmet, face. There's his helmet. And then we've also got a visor that goes over the helmet parts as well. And these are really, really well made. Really good. You can see all the details on that on his actual visor there. Looks really cool. Again, he's got the same backpack as the other one, but mainly white. On his stand, and he comes with just standard looking Lego uh, kind of glasses on there. So yeah, again, another one looking really nice, the silver. It all pops on there, the detailing on there as well. Just really good. So uh, yeah, quite proud to have that one on here. Next up. It's kind of like the main, the main leader. And his name has completely escaped me. And I know if I look at something, it's just gonna pop straight away 
didn't think I had his arm then. There we go. But I know he's pretty much like John Rambo and uh, these other guys. And this one comes with a, a knife and also a ray blaster. face even got the skull there on his bandolier as well Looking pretty cool kind of reminds me the armor kind of reminds me of a bit of a mass effect stuff on there and then we've got his face 2 clone helmet just popping on and again looking really really cool and looking pretty dapper and last but no means least at all uh, so this is the last one of the Bad Batch guys, which is Wrecker. So he's like the big brawn part of the guys. He's not a big figure either. He's just a standard looking guy. Uh, with one sort of a scraped out eyeball. Arms fine. And he comes with a E11 blaster. And a hand knife. Stand backpack and then also his helmet, which is actually a Mandalorian helmet that's been repainted on there. And, um, just to get that look off there with 99 on his head. So, yeah, he's just looking really cool as well. Really sort of goes well with all these sort of other brothers on there. So, we can look forward to the Black Series releases and also the release of Bad Batch on Disney Plus and to get these guys a little bit more air so we know a lot more about them. So that's it. That's the ones that's bring me in there. So that's all my Lego figures for this video. Thank you for so much for joining on this one. And uh, you can comment down below, you can subscribe, and you can follow me on Instagram. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.